Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my other sister. Say hi. Hi. So if you guys wanna see the look I'm wearing right now, which is like kind of very, very dramatic, but it's a glossy eye with a glossy lip. So if you guys wanna see this look, then make sure you click the link in the um, description box or I have the video posted at the end of the video so you could just click on it and it'll be easy. But today I have my sister Lala with me or Selamari, whatever you wanna call her. And this, I did a very fancy look. Look, close your eyes. So I did a very, very dramatic look. You can open them now. And I just did pink and blue on the other under eyes and a very natural lip. And I know that she looks not her age and she looks halfway crazy, but like pretty at the same time. I just wanna let you guys know, we just came back from my Pia's house and we wanted to film and do makeup. So I'm just like, you know what, let, let it be fun. So no, she will not wear this outside. No, she will not, like my mom will not let her outside the house with makeup. And don't look at that face because she thinks she will walk out the house with this, but she won't. And I'll make sure of that because she is too young. But again, this is just for fun. So that's why we did it, right? Yes. So we just did this for fun. So no comments, no hate comments. So yeah, so I would not wear this outside either. I wouldn't wear that outside. I wouldn't wear this, I would wear something natural and I wouldn't put the gloss on my eyes either. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do her eyes first, hold up. So that if there's any fallout, we could catch it. So I'm gonna be taking this tape just to put underneath her eyes and create an angle like so. And I'm just gonna show you guys one eye and then I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, so now that we have the tape on her eye, which I just put it a little bit further from her under glass just so it won't poke her in her eye and make her blind. But I'm taking these, these two palettes. This is the Morphe 35C palette. And then I'm taking the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. So basically, she doesn't know what I'm doing on her eyes, but she did want some blue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of blue on her eyes. I'm going to be uh, priming her eyes with this Batman Protector of Gotham Shatter, Shadow Primer and I'm just gonna put this on her eyes. Thank you. Now I'm taking a um, zone from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put this in her crease. Now with the same brush, I'm going to be taking Punk, which is like a purplish shade. Now I'm just gonna put this on her outer V just to deepen up her eyes. Then with the Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Now these don't actually have shade names, so I'm just taking this bright pink and I'm going to be mixing that in with a little bit of a lighter pink and I'm gonna put this also in her crease just to brighten up her eyes and put a pop of color in. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit just so it's not too harsh. Just to blend it out just a tad bit more, I'm going to be taking a lighter pink and I'm just mixing these two shades together. taking a flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to be spraying Urban Decay All Nighter makeup spray on it just so that we could wet the brush a little bit and we could add a pop of color. For this I'm taking Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette again and I'm taking Harajuku or Harajuku I don't really know how to say it but it's just a light pink color and I'm going to put this on her lids. Now taking a very smaller brush and spraying it again. So now I am taking this Bix Bitsy Nail and Body Glitter and this is in the shade La La Lavender. I'm going to be putting this on the middle of her lids just for some glitter and just to have fun with it. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit just so that I could do her winged eyeliner. Okay, now I'm going to be taking Kat Von D Tattoo 
liner and I'm just gonna do a small little line just since I don't want to hide all the glitter okay now just for a little bit more fun I'm taking the Cinderella um what is this against the clock liquid eyeliner and this is like a a glitter eyeliner I'm just gonna place that where the other glitter is just for just more glitter okay so now that we're somewhat done with the eyes I'm gonna get started on her face so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna prime her face just a little bit and I'm going to be taking the master prime by face studio primer this is in blur and smooth in 100 and I'm going to be using this with Scylla sponge and I'm just gonna place this on just the edges like so and I'm just gonna put this on her face okay so while that I'm letting that like just sit into her skin I'm gonna do her eyebrows and for her eyebrows I'm going to be using the Anastasia dark brown brow powder duo and I'm going to be using this to darken her eyebrows and just to make it a little bit more fun I'm going to darken them just a tad bit darker than I would normally do just since the eyes are so bold and I'll look back forward so for foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline fit me foundation and doing smooth this is in 220 natural beige i'm going to be applying this on my hand and just using my beauty blender i'm going to blend this into her skin so i noticed that her under eyes were just a tad bit dry so i'm going to just apply a little bit of lotion and it's also going to smooth out the foundation just a little bit more look up So I noticed that I don't have a concealer, that's her shade. So I'm going to be using this palette, which I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to be taking a flat eyeshadow brush since I don't have a concealer brush. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks dirty because I used it a lot. But I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this with a little, a tad bit of brown. And look up. I'm going to place this underneath her eyes. Okay, and then I'm going to also lighten up her skin, highlight it. So I'm going to take a few of the lighter shades, and I'm pretty much just mixing all of them. And I'm going to put this on the high points of her face, even up just a tad bit underneath her eyes, just to make her look more awake. So now taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit, and I'm just going to be using the shades Cinnamon and Chocolate which are the two dark browns here, and I'm going to contour her skin. I'm using this pretty brush I got off of Amazon, and I'm just gonna take these two colors, mainly just, I mean, what shade is this? Mainly cinnamon, but just a tad bit of chocolate. And I want you to go like this. Now just taking my beauty blender again and I'm just gonna blend this all out. Now I'm going to be doing a little baking of with <laughs> e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is Hint of Tint. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this. Watch out. It's going to fly everywhere. Told you. Woo! This looks cool. And I'm just going to do baking underneath her eyes. Look, Look up. Yep. 
Now I'm going to be taking Physician's Formula, the powder I always use, and this cute brush that I got from TJ Maxx, and it's Tokidoki. Uh, I'm just gonna use this. Now taking another Tokidoki brush, which looks like this it has a cute little face on it, and it's an angled brush. I'm going to be contouring her face just a tad bit more palette here um i don't know the actual brand because it doesn't say but you could use whatever contour palette you got but i know this i got like really really cheap i think it was like a dollar or something you know what i actually got this at five below i remember now and i'm just going to be taking the middle shade with this shade For some blush i'm taking this elf palette this is in the shade light and i'm going to be taking this like bright pink mixed in with this like neutral shade just so it's not too bright since the eyes are already popping now for highlights i'm going to be taking this tarte highlighter and stunner and i'm going to put this on the tips of her cheeks And I'm also going to be adding this on her brow bones just to make her brows pop close. Hey, so now for the part that she's been waiting for. I'm going to be putting blue on her under eyes just because she likes the color blue. So actually, I'm going to be taking a few different palettes just since I don't have blue everywhere. I'm going to be taking the Lorac Pro 2. And I'm going to be taking the shade Navy. I'm going to pop this underneath her outer corner of her eyes. And now taking the shade Danger in the Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to pack that on as well. And I'm also just gonna be adding just some more shimmer. So I'm just taking a whole bunch of shimmer shades. You can use whatever you want. I'm also gonna mainly focus on 1987, which is a gold color. And I'm going to be popping that on the inner corner. So now for the last part, I'm gonna let her do this, but I'm gonna help her out because I don't want her to poke her eyeballs out. What? Cause I ain't got time for that. Okay, no, look, like, no, I'm not gonna it. pinch it. You, I do it? Yes. Okay, close, just keep your eyes closed. Okay, so now we're gonna do her lips, which since she just already has so much funness on her eyes, I'm gonna be going with the natural shade. This is Kylie Jenner's Dulce K Lip Liner. Now I'm just gonna be putting this on her lips. I'm going to be adding she lip you gloss in the shade Pink Lemonade. I'm just gonna place this on her chopped lips. Mm, it smells good. It smells like pink lemonade. Did you hear my stomach? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm just gonna take her. If you guys did not know, if you guys get con uh, mascara anywhere, let it dry before you take it off because if you don't, then the mascara is gonna get everywhere. <laughs> 